Insects can be a problem for homeowner lawns. They can eat plant tissue and target the root system, leading to unsightly patches in your lawn. Prior to the 1970s, controlling insects was easy for golf courses and homeowners. The chemicals used to control them were wide spectrum and lasted a long time in the soil. After a couple of applications, they could control insects for years. Unfortunately, these chemicals ended up in animals and our food supply, and eventually they were phased out in the 70s. Currently, our options are short-lasting insecticides that are more narrowly targeted. The most common insect problems are grubs, and these can do a lot of damage to your lawn. Fortunately, there are readily available solutions for dealing with these lawn pests. Understanding the grub life cycle is important. Eggs are laid in the spring, the eggs hatch in the summer, and begin to feed on the roots of the grass in August and continue into October. The best way to take care of grubs is to apply GrubX in the spring or early summer, no later than June 30th. The chemical in GrubX will target the grubs in the emerging larval stage and disrupt their life cycle. If you do miss the window and come fall you notice that you have a grub problem, there are products that will kill grubs. One readily available product is the Abio Advanced Grub Killer. Now unfortunately this product contains a chemical called Dilox, which is an organophosphate and these are toxic to humans. So if you have kids or pets, it might be better for you to apply the safer product GrubX prior to having the grub problem. A safer and longer lasting alternative to control common insects like ants, army worms, and sod webworm is a product called Bifen LP with the active ingredient Bifenthrin. This is a popular insecticide due to its safety and ability to target a host of insects. Insect problems are one of the last things people think about when having lawn problems. If you followed good cultural practices and have applied preventative fungicides yet still have lawn issues, I'd consider an insect infestation as a possible cause. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.